Good morning, guys. It's Michelle with Sweet Pea Farm NY, a channel about sheep farming and fiber arting in upstate New York. And um, <clears throat> I'm standing in one of the lambing pens right now. We had two used lamb this morning. Um, both of them were, you know, veteran moms. They've had babies before. Uh, Anna had this big ram lamb. And he's just dried off. She's eating some hay. He's already had his first drink and his shot. We give him a shot of both C. We dip their belly buttons. He's about to get a coat on him just because it's like nine degrees out right now. But he's a pretty big lamb, so he should do well. And he nursed well already. So Eloise is over there. The new twins from Caroline are over there. They're like a week old now. And I have Catalina here that I'm watching because her udder's huge and she's a first timer. So when I have a first timer that's close, I usually put them somewhere I can watch them in the cameras closely. So, um, the other sheep that lambed last night was, or this morning, early this morning, was Tony, and she is a, you know, a, an old pro at this thing, but, um, unfortunately, she had, uh, a stillborn ram lamb, like a big stillborn ram lamb, and a twin that was not formed properly. Whether, you know, something happened in utero or she got into something that caused a deformity, I don't know. At this point, um, sometimes the cost for the answers you get from a necropsy are, doesn't add up. So I don't always do them. If there's more than one of those instances, we certainly do them because sometimes something can be detected um, that's happening in the barn that can be prevented, you know, so that other sheep don't have stillborns. Um, but... Unfortunately, that's a fact of sheep farming. Unfortunately, not every ewe has healthy, happy babies every time. That would be great, but the more my flock grows, the more I run into instances where things happen. Um, I think this is the first time I've had a stillborn on the farm, or not a stillborn. I've had that before, uh, a deformed lamb on the barn. This lamb was just, you know, her legs weren't going normal ways. She was very tiny. She didn't have eyeballs. Um, whether the mom got bred and conceived the large lamb and then the twin got conceived later on. I don't even know if that's possible in the other horn. I don't think so, but I'm not sure what happened. Either way, they didn't survive, um, which is unfortunate. But I just wanted to make this quick video because if you are raising sheep, a huge tip, and sometimes it's hard to remember when there's chaos in the barn and when you're grieving the loss of a lamb because it is you take it very personally and you feel very guilty um it's important to remember to milk out the colostrum from the mom that didn't have any any live lambs so tony um is a great mom and she had carried twins and her what what her body thought she was going to have to feed twins so she had a very big udder this morning so I milked out the colostrum not just to give her some comfort, but also um, normally, you know, you, you wouldn't milk them out if there was nothing to be milking because you don't want to open up the orifices. But um, the fact that she had lambs that never nursed meant her udder was full of colostrum, which is like liquid gold when you have lambs. If I have um, lambs in the future that <clears throat> the mom rejects them for some reason or whatever the case may be, having some colostrum in the freezer from a sheep or my flock is golden. Um, you just thaw it out and you can bottle or tube feed it to them depending on the condition of the lamb. And a lot of times that's the difference between life or death. If, if a lamb does not get colostrum, the likelihood of them surviving and being a healthy sheep is much lower. So colostrum is full of all of the antibodies and um, necessary vitamins and nutrients that the lambs need in the first 24 hours of life is the only time they can absorb it. So, um, you have a really small window to work with. So I just wanted to make a quick video and say it's important to use your head even when things are emotional in the barn and um, do your best to milk out the colostrum. I, I milked it out, you know, just now, the first milking, and then I'll probably even take some more later on just in case because um, you can never have too much and the, the you will produce colostrum um, the first 24 hours. So I'll take all I can get. So hopefully the rest of the lambing videos are positive and chipper. Everything else has been really good so far. I've been super blessed to have healthy lambs up until this point. So 
hopefully um, this was just a little hiccup. As sad as it is, Tony is one of my best moms and um, has had some of my nicest sheep, so it's kind of a big bummer. But um, but we got to do what we got to do, and some things are out of our hands. So have a great rest of your day, guys. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with what's going on on the farm.